Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks so much for coming by again. If this is your first time, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, I'll let you know every time I upload a new video. And leave me a comment below. Uh, give me a thumbs up, all that good stuff. <laughs> so, um, and it's all here, 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 here. There, I don't know. Um, I'm backwards today, so it's a little, um, not backwards today, like crazy backwards or anything like that. It is just, um, I have my, I'm holding my camera, which is a little different. So um, anyways, back to what I was saying. So at Pro, you know, if you are um, brand new to embroidery, you will need a machine, which is obvious, right? You'll need some embroidery files and you'll need an editing program. Now some people can edit actually on their machine and add names on their machine and that kind of thing. Uh, almost every single embroidery machine, especially single needle, come with multiple fonts you can use. I personally have never liked that. That's just me. It doesn't mean that you know it, it's all bad. Um, I like having a little bit more control because I might be a control freak. Might. I try really hard not to be, but I just like to create the product from beginning to end. I like to have it the way I want it, the way I I would like to see it, you know? Um, totally, totally optional, totally up to your preference. Um, but I like adding different fonts that cannot be found on the actual machine. So I guess that's it, really, um, introducing this video. Oh, and one thing I wanted to say, and I think I say it actually in the video, I'm starting at the very beginning with this because when I first started embroidery, I had no clue what to do. I didn't know that you hit file open. I literally fumbled my way through on a few really bad YouTube videos um, and eventually found my way. And there's a ton of different ways to do it. I've noticed that even Pam and I do it differently. So um, if you have any questions, leave them below. I'll be glad to answer them. I love reading your comments and I love responding them. Um, feel free. I really enjoy it. Uh, give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much, you guys, and I hope you have a great Wednesday. Bye. Okay, let's do this. So um, this is a Sew What Pro tutorial. It's going to go pretty in-depth, very uh, slow. So if you are looking for something super fast and not all the beginning steps, this vlog is not for you. I apologize if you feel that way, but I wanted to be honest and upfront um, about it. It's really, it's really detailed. Um, so there's a few things to remember. So What Pro is a really, really good program for editing, for embroidery, and embedding, excuse me, for editing embroidery files. Um, and there are several different ways to do it, um, each part. Uh, I'm just going to show you my way. If my way isn't your way, I do apologize. You know what? I don't apologize for it. I just uh, find it um, very interesting to know what your way would be. If you can think of or if you have a definite um, way of doing something that's completely different than what I'm doing, please feel free to um, speak up and tell me all about it. I am always, always anxious to learn. I want to learn. I never want to stop learning. So what you do your way is not wrong and what I do my way is not wrong. And there is no correct way, there is no wrong way. As long as you're getting the job done, you're getting the job done. So what we're gonna do first of all, is we're gonna go ahead and open So What Pro. Um, I have mine turned off. I don't know if you can see right here. Um, it says, you know, check for information about So What Pro. I got rid of that because I got super tired of um, seeing the tips on startup. That's just me. If you like it, it could teach you a whole bunch of stuff. I just clicked out of it. I opted out of it. So um, what you're going to need is obviously a computer. You're going to need um, an embroidery file, and you might need a little bit of patience, to be honest with you. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to file, and I'm going to open. You can do new and then open, or you can do open... Um, you know, you can open it up automatically. So let's, um, here, let's do, actually, let me start at the very beginning because that actually, that actually was some that have already been edited for 
my shop. So here we go. I'm just gonna open up one of my files. My um, machine, my brother machine does take uh, PES files. There are a bunch of different files available. So let's open up one. Which one do we want to do? Let's do, let's do a rainbow. Does that sound good? Let me find a rainbow. Rainbow. Okay. So, oh, I'm so sorry. I had you guys out of focus or out of the pit frame. So what I'm doing right now is I am messing with the mouse and the program with my right hand and holding this with my left hand because my tripod, I could not get anything to work on my tripod. Um, I couldn't get it to, to zoom in. I couldn't get the right angle. So here we go. Let's try it this way. So we've got just a regular, just regular rainbow. And what I do, the first thing I do is I pull it to the very top. Um, I like to get it up to the very top. That way I know where I'm going. I actually pull it up to the, I don't know if you can tell, um, but the middle, I try to get it to the middle. Okay. Sometimes I just play with it <laughs> like that just to make sure. I always bring it up to the very top, the middle of the very top one. Now you see this right here. See all these little boxes, the little black boxes? Those are where it will allow you to stretch or shrink. However, I don't do it that way. Um, I know a lot of people do, but I feel like it distorts it. So I always go in and I um, either enlarge or shrink um, by going up to Tools, go down to Resize Pattern. This is going to pull up. If you want to shrink it, Let's shrink it real good so we can see. So, oops, I'm gonna shrink it in half. Hit okay. Ooh, look at it there. It just shrunk really good. So, also, what you've got, you have up here, you know, you can go to edit and then undo, which is what I'm doing so I can go back to the regular. Go ahead and click on it, and you can see I'm right back to where I was. You do the same thing to make it larger. You go to tools, you go to resize pattern, you come over here, let's make it huge so we can see the difference. Let's do 150. Okay, and then it made it huge. Again, I'm gonna go up to file, I'm sorry, edit, undo. All right, so what we can do here then is you see this over here, I probably should have chosen a much more simple one but you know, it is what it is. In some designs, you know, it, it all depends on who's making it. Um, this one was made by Apple Dumplin' on Etsy, and she always uses red and black, red and black, red and black. So what you can do is, I happen to know that these are, that's where the outline, that'll show you where to lay down the red. This will show you, these, this is your tack stitch. It shows you where to, so the outline, shows you where to lay your fabric. The tack stitch tells you where to cut it. So we can bring it back over here and it'll tell you, see the red? That's gonna tell you where to lay down, that's, they're gonna it's gonna stitch out, tell you where to lay down your fabric. Your next step will be black. It, it's up to you, you can change these and I'm gonna change them, I'm gonna show you what I do. I just like them all to be the same. I don't like some of them be red and some of them be be red and black on one design and then the next design I pull up is pink and purple, stuff like that. So I go by what I know and what I like. So it'll show you the black and then you cut it out on, you know, you pull it out, pull your hoop out, cut it, put your hoop back in. And this is just gonna go through everything. Red, black, red, black, red, black, red, black and then you're done cutting it. And by the end of this, you're gonna be like, thank goodness, because that's a lot of cutting and a lot of pulling out your hoop, cutting, put it back in, um, that kind of thing. So this is going to be your satin stitch. You know, here for some reason, they have it all these different colors, that kind of thing. If you're really gonna go and you're gonna do, red, what I would do is red, yellow, blue, 
or red, orange, yellow, I, I, something. It depends on if you want to do primary. It, this all depends on you. If you want to do primary colors, if you want to do girly colors, if, you know, it's totally up to you. I would do primary red, yellow, and blue. That is just me. Um, or I would go in and do different color pinks or different color pinks and purples. It's completely up to you. That's the one thing about embroidery. And so what pro, I, and you know, there's Embrilliance as well, but I do not know how to use that. Angela uses that because she has a Mac. And I think Jessica does too. Jessica has a Mac and she uses it that way. Um, so Embrilliance is a totally different beast. Um, so what I will do is I will come over here. Now you can click this and hit control and change them all at once. Excuse me, red, I'll change all the reds at once. I can't do that right now because I am holding on to the camera. So let's go ahead and change the one. What I do is I do a dark, dark blue for the, and then I do a light gray. Now, let me tell you about this. This is just me. This does not mean that you have to do it your way. The reason why I do this is because I didn't used to do this when I had the PE 770, which is now the PE 800. I did not do this, this step. I just let it be where it was and I counted like, you know, t this is the outline. This is the tack down. This is outline. This is the tack down outline, tack down outline. You know what I mean? Um, however, on my machine on the 20, the VE 2300 essence, it shows you in color. So if you choose a white on my machine, it might not be, it's definitely not the same on the, um, PE 800, but on my machine, it will show you colors and that is awesome. So I just like to, if you choose white, it won't show you where it is going. I mean, it'll show you, but you won't be able to see. So right now I'm just going to go through and make all the reds a dark blue and all the blacks a warm gray. That way I can see it. And those are just the color. Like I said, those are the colors I've used since we started, since I started doing this with my new machine. This can be any color you want it to be, or you don't have to change it at all. Um, I just like it all to be the same. That way I can look at it and say, oh, that's the step we're on. And I don't have to um, panic even a little bit. Um, I just get it going. So like I said, you know, this is going to show you now the satin stitch. Let me see if I can back this up a little bit. Um, to show you and the problem is is that it's if if I try to show you the whole screen it doesn't um, it, It's not close enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in first and then sh do this and then I'll show you um, What I've decided like what it looks like on the end you guys wow, this is This is pretty, there we go. That's pretty bad. I'm so, this is, I'm trying to learn it, you guys. I'm trying to learn it. So I'm going to do, let's see, I'm going to do that. Go down here. Um, and I am going to do that red. And then I'm going to do this yellow. And then I'm going to do this one blue. And then I have one more, so mm, let me do it blue again. Do it blue again. There we go. So that's what it's gonna look like. Red, yellow, blue. All right, and so the clouds which are in here actually as gray as you can see I am not I'm gonna leave them gray obviously we're gonna do them white um, I'm actually gonna do a white glitter on this because I think it's just really pretty for the clouds however I'm doing them a darker color on here so I'll be able to see it on my machine monitor which I've already gone over um, so that's that I want to show you one thing on here do you see eek, 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 eek. all right See right here how it says Brother Polly? Um, the Polly Star thread is what I use, so I just leave it on that one. You, There are so, so, so many to choose from. Um, you know, there's 
I can't even tell you. There's Madeira Rayon. There is, let me see if there's the new one I'm gonna be using. Yay, Thread Art Rayon. Rayon. Rayon, I can't even talk. So I guess I could do that and it'll give me every every color available. I'm just used to doing the Brother Polly because that's what I've always used is the Polly Star. So, all right, so let's go back over here and I might be wrong on that. It might actually not be called, that might actually not be, be Polly for Polly Thread. I don't know. Um, that's just how I took it. <laughs> okay. So in order to keep this in a more um, compact, I guess you could say, is, I don't know if you guys can see what she's doing. Probably not, because I can't even get it to focus on her. So anyways, let's go back here. So um, there are a ton of options up here. So what I normally do is I use the heck, when I say the heck out of file, edit, and tools. I rarely use the view except to maybe look at grid line, make it look away from the grid lines. I show customers that. I don't use it very often because I need the grid line. Now, there are all sorts of things you can do with this. Um, you can, like in the tools section, there's so much stuff. In the view section, there's jumps, snap to grid, stitch points. There are so many things you can do with this program that I don't know how to. Um, I learned just what I needed to know because at the time it was so confusing and so overwhelming to me that um, I just tried to keep it as simple as possible. Now, most everything that's up here in all your tools, file, ed edit, all that good stuff is also down here. You know, you've got all sorts of stuff. You've got new, open, save, you can print it. Some people print it and then put it on the shirt so they can see where it um, will stitch out. I choose not to do that. Um, I use this 100%. Um, there's an undo button. There's all sorts of stuff. So one thing I always do is I come over here and I change the hoop. Um, I'm using a five by seven right now, which is what I'm on. So that's fine. If you want to turn it to make it a little, see if you can make it the design a little bit bigger, you click that one. And of course it's not going to do it because I am on the blog, but that'll take you to flipping it to where it's long sided. So one thing I always do is I'm going to go ahead and put um, a name on this and I'm going to do just Jen, J E N, because it's going to be e it's short enough for you guys to see. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to file merge, and this is going to pull up all of your files, every last one of them. Now I have mine organized in a certain way, totally up to you guys. It's how you can do it. So I'm going to go down to, da, 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 da. let's see, I'm going to go down to true fonts. That's just what I call it. Uh, you do not have to call it that. That's completely up to you. All right. We're going to go to what I have called Anthem, which is very much like Sarah, uh, that Pam uses all the time. So let's get a J and uppercase, uppercase J. And when you do that, it's going to show you what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and pick up the J and we're going to pull it down, see if it fits. I can already tell you this one's not going to fit. So I'm just going to hit delete. You can see all the gypsy hair. <laughs> My girl sheds so bad and she was sitting next to me earlier. So, you know, she's, she shed everywhere. So we're going to go back up to file. We're going to go back to merge. Um, it'll pull up the last thing you use. So we need to go, I used 1.5, so let's use 1.0. Um, and that just means, 1.0 means um, just an inch. So we need to go to upper for J. That is an L. Because <laughs> apparently I can't see. So again, up to merge. Uh, to merge, pull up a J. we go. 
Okay, let's see if this one fits. I have good feelings about this one. Now, when I started out, I always put it down on a grid line. You can move it in a little bit um, and make it even. So I always do that. All right, so we're gonna merge again. File, merge. It's gonna pull this back up. And this time we want a 1.0 lowercase, not the alternate, but the lowercase e. Do you see e? It's gonna pull it up. We're gonna yank it down. Okay, we're gonna put it here on another grid line. J E merge for an N. And this time I'm gonna do the alternate N because I want it all sorts of swirly. Because it's for a girl and it's a rainbow. It just needs to be swirly. In my opinion, it needs to be swirly. And the J and the N are going to cover each other up. So that's not going to work. Let's do Jess. Hi, Jessica Skibicki. You are the Lord, you are the inspiration for this one. J E S. And you can blow it up by just moving your mouse pad up, your mouse, your track on your mouse up. And that's what I do, especially for cursive, because the cursive have to, you see, they have to touch. So I really blow it up um, because I want it to look right. You know what I mean? I want it to be right. And as you can see, they're not connected at all. J-E-S. There you go. Now we need to file merge. Another, let's do the alternate S and let's just see what the alternate S looks like. <laughs> okay, my battery ran out. So we're gonna pull up the S, but we're gonna look at the alternate S on just on this one. Um, each font is very different. Um, so let's pull up the alternate S and see what it looks like. Oh, so it's just a regular S, which is fine. It's just not as cool. It's not as swirly, which is perfectly fine. It just depends on what you want, right? It's all, depend it's all every last bit of this is personal preference. J-E-S-S. -S. All right, so now what I do for this, I go ahead and grab everything. Oops. I just like, I just make it look right. J-E-S-S. -S. To me, this looks right. All right, J-E-S-S, -S, Jess, Jess, Jess. My mom is a huge Jets fan. So, you know, I, I go to that sometimes. So we're gonna go ahead and, you see that little box right there at the top? That's how we know we're gonna get it centered. But what I'm gonna do is because it was too, the 1.5 was too big, 1.0 is a little too small. Now some people will take this and drag it out or drag it this way to make it to make it look right. But I don't do that. I always go to resize pattern. You go up to font tools, resize pattern, and because we're making it bigger, we're gonna go above 100. So let's do 125. See how that works out. I think that looks good. So there we go, we're right in the middle. Let me shrink this back down. And let's see how we like it. Oops, wrong button. Do we like that guys? I personally do, I think it looks good. So we're gonna go back over here and we are going to change our colors here. Uh, you can do all one color. You can do like red, yellow, blue, whatever you feel like doing. Um, I'm gonna actually put it into, um, we're gonna 
probably put it into rainbow colors. So let's go for a red. Let's find the red. Red. J E S J E. Let's do the E. Do the E yellow. Gonna do the blue. Or the second as blue. And then because we're gonna go back to red, we're gonna do red again. And that, friends, is what it's going to look like. Now, this is just my opinion. Um, I like it this way. And because I like a really thick satin stitch, that's, that is just my preference. I think it looks better. It covers up a lot of mistakes. I go ahead and highlight all of this. And I'm going to go up to Tools and Adjust Density. This is where you can make those lines thicker. So I usually put it on 1.3. That's just what I like. It is not by any stretch of the means what you have to do. So watch what it does. Makes it thicker. I don't know. I'm going to redo it. I'll do it again so you can kind of see. Get a little closer. Show you just the show you just the rainbow. And I'm going to go in tools. It's going to ask me what I want it to do. I'm going to put it to 1.3. It just makes it thicker. I can't really capture it very well on. Can't really capture it very well on this on the camera very much. But it, trust me, it does make it nice and thick. Um, and it's totally a preference thing. Um, now, when I use this Anthem or, or Sarah, I do go a little bit over here, but it's only because of this. I feel like it goes so far over that it needs to be a little bit over to look like it's centered. That's, that's just my opinion. You guys can do what you want. So that, to me, is the easiest way to do Sew so Up Pro. Like I said, there's tons of different ways, and I may come back and do some additional videos on that, but um, this is just the easiest way that I think of it is, uh, that I think it is to do. If you guys, like I said, if you guys can think of a better way, or not even a better way, just show me, talk to me about how you do it. I, Like I said earlier, I love to learn. I really do, and I want to learn more. I think I'm gonna change this one to red, in all honesty, it's been bothering me. And that's Gypsy doing a little, it's not really a growl, it's more of a, she, she's scratching her face. Hey, Gyps. Dippy doo She's rolling her eyes over to me. So she's chilling there, and Luca's chilling there. They tend not to leave my side very much during the day, but that's Gypsy. Hey, Dipper. See, she rubs her face a lot. She's on a serious allergy medication right now. Um, she is, has been miserable, but um, she's getting better. So anyways, away from the puppies. I know that that's, I concentrate on them a lot, um, but see, I think, I think that looks a lot better. So anyways, leave a comment below. Let me know um, how you do things. If you have any questions, leave them below. I really appreciate it so much. Um, I love answering your questions. I love answering your comments. I love reading them. It just, it makes my day. So, um, I appreciate it as always. Let me see if I can, <laughs> eee. fingers too big here. So anyways, like I said, hit subscribe, hit that bell, let you know every time I release a new one. Um, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, and I will chat with you later. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.